So I'm just in the process on this wet and windy afternoon of sorting out my beloved Crystal Palace shirts. And um, I reckon I've got quite a few, so let's see how many we've got. Let's start with this one. Uh, number one. Number two. Number three, and a wedding present from my mates. Number four. Number five, I remember Chris Armstrong wearing this shirt. Number six, this one brings back memories of Ray Houghton. Number seven, a training shirt. Number eight, and the first of my Crystal Palace Brazil Repul Repulca shirts. Number nine. Number ten. I remember Clinton Morrison making a couple of appearances in this shirt. Number eleven. Number twelve, an Andy Johnson shirt. Number thirteen, I'm fairly sure that Michael Hughes wore this one. Number 14, and this one is signed by Fan Z. Number 15, one of my all time favourites, the Antilio Lombardo home shirt. Number 16, the Lombardo away shirt. Number 17. Number 18, Gabor Karate's goalkeeping shirt. Number 19. Number 20, the Carlo Nash goalkeeping top. Ooh, Jill fancied him. Number 21. Number 22, I remember Jeff Hopkin wearing this one. Number 23, another Andy Johnson top. Number 24, and to my knowledge, the only grey shirt Palace have ever worn. Number 25, and a very special shirt indeed. I wore this to the FA Cup final and replay in 1990. Number 26. Number 27 to last year's home shirt. Number 28. How did the old fashioned footballers used to wear these cotton tops? Number 29. Number 30. Back when the team were called the Glaziers. Number 31, and probably the oldest of the shirts that I own. Number 32, another one of the black shirts, which is making a return this season. Number 33, a return of the beautiful sash. Number 34, and another training top. Number 35. Number 36, look at that sash again. I'm getting Vince Allaire. And finally, number 37. This is a very special shirt my football team in New Zealand bought me this one to wear to the FA Cup final in 2016. And I wore it all the way from New Zealand to Wembley. And number 38. Now I'm sure there's a couple more somewhere, but I'm damned if I know where they are. And that, I believe, is the finest set of Crystal Palace shirts in New Zealand. Anybody want to prove me wrong? <laughs>